guys. How is everybody doing this fine day? So Junior with SOT Metalworks coming at you. Uh, we're doing a little different video this time. Just want to go over a few things. Had a uh, few questions in the last uh, couple videos of exactly what we do, kind of, you know, the process of what we make, uh, how we make it, stuff like that. So in this video, we're going to try to go over a little bit of that and let you guys understand a little bit more about us. First off, thank you to all the new subscribers we've been getting lately. You guys are awesome. You're hitting it out of the park. Can't say we can't tell you how much we appreciate it for sure. But yeah, just uh, getting started here. We are a husband and wife owned company. We started off uh, three or four years ago, just kind of helping out friends uh, down at our gun club, stuff like that. Um, People found out I could weld, had me weld up a few targets for them. It kind of kind of blew up from there. It kind of went crazy. So, that being said, we make AR-500 steel targets. We make all these fine and dandy metal signs that you see in the background. We do a little odd and end welding, uh, metal work, just about anything you can think of. But the big deal we've got going for us is we've got a Shop Saber CNC plasma table, computer operated. I could put all the parameters in there for your sign, your target, whatever it may be. And we can lay the sheet of steel on the table, get it all cut out, make everything look prim and proper, get paint on that joker, and have you a fine outstanding product. So let's go over a few of the signs we've got, a few of the targets we've got. Uh, I may show you guy, our guys and gals our supply of uh, signs, uh, targetry, stuff like that. And maybe talk about some future upcoming projects. I'm not 100% sure yet. But uh, we might try to dive into that a little bit, too. Alrighty. All right, so we've got the wall of the garage all decorated up in some of the signs we've done in the past, some of the ones we carry on a regular. Uh, we do carry a few of the military signs uh, on a regular, uh, some of the turkey stuff. Uh, we've got a few saw blades up there. We do with the welcome in, uh, UK and U of L stuff, uh, the deer heads turtles y'all can see this one here i'm, I'm kind of proud of this one this takes a lot of cutting time right here but uh you can see the crappie in there and then if you look real close in the uh, tree itself you've got the uh, minnows and everything hanging out there and they're trying to catch him bait fish it's pretty cool uh one of our big sellers we've got uh we've got the eagle the freedom eagle uh we've got the ar america uh and of course our uh, metallic american flag can't forget about that one it is a uh, top-notch seller for sure. Of course, you got the Harley Davidson. We've got uh, John Deere. Like I said, we live in Kentucky, so we've got the UK Wildcats and the Louisville Cardinals. We're right down the road from Louisville, so everybody's always pretty pretty happy to see those. Got uh, another big thing we've got going for us is the monograms. We do your last name uh, in the letter. And it, it's turned out to be a great product for us. Couldn't ask. We do those in uh, hammered silver, hammered copper, and hammered black. We will also do other colors, uh, but we would have to charge accordingly. But yeah, not uh, not a bad deal on signs. We do, uh, we do large signs, small signs. It's just about whatever you can think of. And we'll take you up here in the, uh, in the storage shed, show you what we've got on stock and what we don't have on stock. But yeah, if you guys are interested in signs, you need to look us up because we the people we're pretty proud of our science <laughs> all right guys so let's go on in the shed here and see what we've got in in the line here and close this door might help with a light just a little bit uh it's a little crazy how much stock a small small company like us had to keep on hand it's somewhat crazy and overwhelming all at the same time but as you can see, we've got the UK, U of L. Uh, there's some more UK, U of L stuff there. Uh, of course, we've got our crappie that we've seen there earlier. We've got, uh, oh, check this one out. Let's see if I can. We've got our dog here. Let me lay it down. <clears throat> German Shepherd on a blue line flag. Can't say enough great things about that sign. That sign turned out fantastic. Love that sign. I'm pretty sure we got a video on that one too. I'll have to double check and make sure on that one. But we've got a whole bunch of American flags in stock. Uh, U.S. Army stuff, born or uh, born to hunt, forced to work. Uh, we've got some Texas flags for all you Texas people out there. 
I don't know if those are on a website yet, just so you know. Uh, we've got some old cars. We've got some military stuff. I know we've got uh, the Marines. We've got the Army in here right now. Oh, uh, what else we got? I think we got the Coast Guard in here. Oh, also, got our firefighters out there. Anybody out there on the fire department looking for a good metallic metal sign? Look us up. We'll hook you up. I uh, got our Tree of Life's big, big popular item with the uh, with the ladies. They always seem to love those uh, Tree of Life's. So of course, I, there's a great big one right there. Why am I even worried about this little bitty one? Why? Why even mess with my time? Ah. That's a fine and dandy looking tree of life right there. That, uh, that joker's about uh, 36 inches round. I think it is, something like that, three foot. So, yeah, got some more metal signs over here. Just uh, anybody into the dogs. We've got a little heart paw there going on. Got some Indiana stuff. Of course, we hang out with them Indiana folk. You got to keep any Indiana stuff around. Uh, of course, we've got some old-timey vintage cars. Vintage hot rods. <laughs> Uh, cut out a thumpy and bamber bambi the other day. It uh, it turned out fairly good. Got a little dust on it now, of course. Uh, dolphins hearts uh, to the moon and back. This is us sign. Got some of those. Got one or two of those left. Uh, of course, there's some more UK UVL. Got some love stuff back there. Got some great great flags on some antique barn wood we got going on there. It's uh. It turned out mighty nice. So yeah, just a little overview of some of our stock we keep on hand. It gets a little crazy, a little overwhelming sometimes. All right, so let's get into some of our targetry we've got. We've got uh, the AR500 steel dueling tree. Uh, these paddles, of course, they, they flip back and forth when you shoot them. This is a uh, fairly big seller for us. We've sold quite a few of these. Everybody's extremely happy about these. Uh, they've got the uh, slide in for uh, for your backer and everything. They are welded. Uh, some companies cut these out just out of a piece of steel, and the uh, turning radius here will just be flat. I don't like that real well, uh, but I like ours a lot better the way they sit up. Of course, I like ours better because we made them. But <laughs> so yeah, we've got the AR500 dueling tree. Uh, six paddles on it. We've got the uh, quick draw target, we call it. Uh, you and your buddy can shoot. One can shoot at this one, one can shoot at that one. Whichever one comes around and, and gets in the middle first, that is generally the winner. Uh, then we kind of made this our uh, quick draw slash hostage target. I went ahead and took a little extra time, made another paddle up for it. It flips over there out of the way, and you can shoot it accordingly too. Little higher end stuff here. Uh, you know, it, it gets a little pricey. That's all AR-500 steel there. Uh, on a dueling tree, everything's AR-500 except your uh, angle, and you get plenty of deflection with it, so there's no big deal there. Uh, that angle there is mild steel also. So, But with the angle, you get no penetration because it deflects the bullets plenty, plenty well enough. Uh, we do uh, poppers. Uh, and if you guys haven't shot before, completely understand, you may not know what uh, a few of these targets do, don't do, stuff like that. Just trying to do a quick overview of everything. Uh, we've got our stands and our 10-inch uh, targets. They actually come with a cap here, which is reversible. So if anything happens to your hook here you're hanging a target with, you've got options to reverse that and carry right along shooting and not having to worry about downtime any way, shape, or form. But uh, yeah, we've got our plate rack over here in the back. We've got uh, some other targets right here in the front. We've got a Know Your Limits target for 22s. We've kind of busted this out for a Know Your Limit target with uh, rifles. These swing back and forth. Get you plenty of movement there so your targets can, uh, can not only be, a, uh, be sound effective uh, when you get the ring of that steel, but also you get the motion and you know it's just a little bit of everything it makes your eyes work with your ears the whole nine yards so it turns out pretty good uh and then we roll over into our regular targets you guys apologize it's a little a bit of a mess here i did not prep uh what you see is what you get on my videos a lot of times and i did not do prepping but we've got uh from three inch targets just your regular hangers right there teardrops uh, all the way up to your regular uh, 12. This is kind of what we carry in stocks is uh, 3, 6, 8, 10, 12, 
is our normal everyday carry. So if you call us and need targets and you order that size, that's pretty much what we'll have in stock. But we also do carry some other different sizes, A zones, C zones, uh, some hanging pepper poppers up there. <clears throat> and and we'll have those in stock too also your shepherd hooks if you come see us we've got those in stock uh gets a little pricey shipping some of these items shepherd hooks is one of them it gets a little pricey for uh but yeah if we can get this steel in a flat rate box in any way shape or form we can get you guys a good price on shipping so got to take that in consideration now guys bear with us we are just going through the process of kind of what we got and what we don't have uh, so some of this stuff I'll go over later in videos uh, We get uh, 20 inch gongs. We've got our 24 inch gongs. We've got those in stock too uh, These I'm gonna do a video on these here shortly uh, They stand up full-size silhouette You'll be able to see those got a lot of money sunk in uh, <laughs> Some AR 500 steel right there. So all right, so most all your targets you see in there are AR 500 steel uh, abrasive resistant stuff it will take a lead core bullet and pretty much uh, turn it into well, dust, a little bit of spall, a little bit of splatter, uh, nothing too major there. I uh, recommend uh, hearing protection, eye pro, long sleeves, anytime you're shooting this steel. Uh, and, and, you know, you guys shoot accordingly. That's on you guys. But uh, AR-500 steel, we recommend 100 yards or further with any rifle rounds, 308, 556. Uh, Anything under 50 cal, pretty much, you know, we've, we've shot some 12 gauge slugs at it. We've shot some 20 gauge slugs at it, uh, anything like that. Pretty much any pistol ammo, we recommend 10 yards or further. Uh, I've, I don't believe I've ever put even close to a scratch on AR-500 with a pistol. So it, uh, it holds up mighty well for that. And that's what a lot of our targets are kind of geared to, uh, the competition pistol uh, shooting side of things uh, we're starting to dive into the long range target shooting so you might see a few of those in future videos or what have you so but just trying to give you guys an overall rundown of what we've got in stock what we do uh, and stuff like that so let's go over we'll take a look at the shop saber CNC plasma table and I'll give you guys a few uh, ins and outs on it and maybe help you guys understand a little more all right, guys, we're in here in the other side of the shop. We've got our Shop Saber CNC plasma table, four foot by eight foot. Actually, I think the, the real measurements are like nine foot by four and a half feet, something like that. Uh, you can kind of see we've got a uh, four foot by now. It's, it's probably about closer to eight foot sheet of uh, 18 gauge stainless on there. We've been cutting out some fine and dandy license plates. Uh, video on that to come. But yeah, we're just uh, doing a little walkthrough with you guys, let you know uh, this table runs off computer. So I will come in here, put my parameters for the signs or the targets that I need on the computer, do what I need to do. I've got a couple videos on that, go check those out. I will do what I need to do to those uh, specific items. It will tell that torch head right there what to do. And that torch head will go out there where I tell it to and cut out a sign, a target, whatever it may be out there. So anything pretty much out of a sheet of steel, whether it be, and we can't cut aluminum, we don't cut a lot of it. Uh, aluminum, stainless steel, uh, mild steel, just just pretty much about anything. <clears throat> Excuse me, we can uh, we can get it done. And it's, uh, it's an enjoyable process too. As you can see, we've got some uh, signage hanging up on the wall that we've not, uh, cleaned up, primered, uh, painted or anything like that, but we always try to keep some in stock. Uh, some of these may be miscut sometimes. You might find them a little cheaper on our website. And if you haven't yet, go over and check our website out, sotmetalworks.com. That's right. You can go over there and see some of the prices on some of this stuff. I know everybody's always asking how much is this, how much is that, but that's the best place to go over and find the exact price of everything sometimes steel prices change we have changed prices on the website accordingly sometimes but we try to give you guys the best the best and i mean the best price that we can so it's a little tricky sometimes we try to uh we're always looking at ebay trying to keep prices down as far as ordering online stuff like that so we're small mom and pops company it's a little di difficult sometimes but hey everybody's got to start somewhere 
And we're starting out with a good product, I guarantee it. Ask some of these guys who's bought our signs before, or some of the people on YouTube that we've done work for. Uh, go back and look at some of our older videos. We've done some pretty outstanding work for some uh, some big name YouTubers out there. Can't uh, I can't brag too much, but it's been a pretty enjoyable ride so far. So, but uh, yeah, guys, that's that's what we got. We're uh, just a mom and pop operation trying to uh, to fit in in this crazy crazy world. Uh, just a little backstory on me. I do have a full time uh, job during the week. I work Monday through Friday, forty hours a week. I come home. This is my secondary job. Uh, and then I guess you would count YouTube as being my my third job. So plenty of plenty of work to go around here at SOT Metalworks. We're we're not uh, we're not shy about working hard. But yeah, I mean uh, YouTube has been a great great outlet for our signs, for our targets, stuff like that. People can view that stuff, get get what they need, ask questions, interact. It's been YouTube has been fantastic. I don't get to put out as many videos as I'd like to. And I wish I could put out more for you guys. But uh, this crazy, hectic life is uh, not allowing that right now. So normally I try to post on Wednesday and Saturday or Sunday, uh, right in there somewhere. And we normally try to do a live stream every other week. Uh, so catch us on one of those. Comment on our videos. Subscribe to our stuff. Hit the thumbs up. Leave us a comment. We'll try to get back to you as quick and as as, as friendly as we can. I mean, it uh, it gets a little crazy. Don't don't let me lie to you guys. But now we, we we enjoy doing it. So so with everything said, that was just kind of an overview for some of our new subscribers, some people who had been asking questions. We try to cover as much as we could in this little video. It's kind of gotten long. Uh, I, hopefully, I didn't ramble entirely too much. Uh, and you guys got to learn a little bit right along with everybody else. So for you guys who have watched this for a long time. Thank you. We greatly appreciate that. And for our new subscribers who've just come along for this wild and crazy ride, we greatly appreciate you guys being here with us. Hopefully there's more fantastic, outstanding stuff to come. So, Junior at SOT Metalworks, guys, you remember, stay safe out there. And as always, work smarter, not harder. Later, everybody. We out.